Dalit, the fourth letter of the 22 Hebrew alphabet. It can be seen as a choice decision door, accountable to the doorkeeper, freedom, comparison, about which, that one, practice the option to collaborate with Aleph or not, free will. In a really simple version available at erictology.net in articles, Dalit is a threshold, a choice between two options, two different ways of doing something, a fork in the road. Intersection of vertical and horizontal, north, south, east, west, catch and release versus catch and eat, in or out the door, locked or unlocked, for or against. So we're going to look at the chart and I'm going to read the Dalit column starting at Aleph and going through top. So we have accessible, not aloof, door, portal, transition, choice about which, that one, hanging, threshold, guard, valiance, veil, permission to enter, allowance, honor, confirm, impoverished, depleted, dripping, protection, sentry, watchman. Spring of water, freedom, pertains to earth, four seasons, four directions, accountable to the doorkeeper, prerequisite, requirement, available, vacancy sign, exit, access to resh, a way to, chronology, generations. So we have the fourth letter Dalit, and at the bottom there is Dalit Bet Resh. And this is a playing card that Eric Bissell developed. And that word is found on page 113 and also 114. We have the Dalit Bet Resh. That is defined as speaking, speech, word. It's used in Jeremiah 5.13 and 9.7. It's also defined as to speak. They spoke to one another, talked, was said, was spoken, he spoke of, he spoke to or with, was spoken, was stipulated, was agreed, he spoke, or excuse me, he spoke, talked, he came to an agreement, and there's several derivative spellings. That word is used in Deuteronomy 4.13. He told you of his covenant that he commanded you to observe the 10 declarations and he inscribed them on two stone tablets. That same word is used five times in Ezekiel 12.25. For I am Yahweh, I speak and the word which I speak is done. It is no longer deferred. For in your days, O rebellious house, when I speak the word, I shall do it. And I underlined where that word is used. So on page 132, we'll look for Dalit Resh Kof. And that is defined as way, road, journey, custom, conduct, manner. Method, mode, as in grammar, and way. Okay, so we have the path of um, Eric Bissell's map that's available on his website. And it is kind of the illustration of a treasure map or a map that would show the journey going Aleph through Tav. <clears throat> so we have the path to travel through Yao's words. Jeremiah 6.16 says, Thus says Yahweh, stand in the ways and see, and ask for the old paths where the good way is, and walk in it, and find rest for yourselves. But they said, we do not walk in it. So I'm going to dissect this verse. And that first word is kof he, which is defined as so thus, here, now. The second word, aleph mem resh, is defined as fine words, utterance, speech, saying, word to say, said, told, uttered, commanded, ordered, avouched. That word has an amazingly long and rich definition. Then we have yod he wah he. The second line is ayan mem dalit wah. What I could find in the dictionary was ayan mem dalit. <clears throat> so I've underlined the part of the word that I could find in the dictionary. To stand, continued, 
persisted, stayed, remained to estimate value, appointed, established, arranged in columns. That word also has an amazingly rich definition. The next hyphenated part, the ion lamed, is defined as super, yoke, together, concerning. The next word is dalit, resh, kof, that's that Derek. The mode, grammar, to read, walk, directed, guided, instructed, educated, way, road, journey, custom, conduct. So this wa, resh, aleph, wa, what I could find in the dictionary was a little messy. Um, I could find resh, aleph, wa, hey, which is site, exhibition, <coughs> Or I could use resh elif wa yod, which is worth, fit, suitable. So the last word here, machine alif lamed. So I dropped the wa at the beginning, that's prefix, and also the wa at the end, the suffix. And the machine alif lamed is defined as to ask, inquire, to entreat, was consulted. <clears throat> So continuing on in the verse, this noon tav bet wa tav is defined as tracking, piloting, routing, directing. This next word, ayan wa lamed mem, is defined as eternity, continuous, existence, long duration. In the second line, the aleph yod, zion he, is defined as which is it? And there's several other questions that's involved in that definition. Again, I have that Dalit, Resh, Kof, Derek, the road, journey, mode, grammar. <clears throat> this He, Tet, Wa, Bet, I could find as He, Tet, Bet, He in the dictionary, which is defined as doing good, improvement, betterment. And also I could find He, Tet, Yod, Bet, and that was defined as he did good. That last line, I have Lamed Kaf, which is to you or to thee, and the Bet He, in it, in her, to be amazed, astonished, and the Mem Zadi Aleph was defined as to find, found, came upon. The last few words in that verse is Mem Resh Gimel Wa Ayan, which is defined as rest or place of rest. Our next word, the noon pe shin. So I dropped the lamed as a prefix and the kof mem as a suffix. That kof mem is usually plural. So the noon pe shin is defined as blow, breathe, rested, refreshed himself, animated, enlivened, soul, mind, desire. And that last line, we have aleph mem resh to say, said, told, commanded, thought, fine words, uttered, ordered, thought, caused to say, and that's quite a long definition for that word. Uh, Lamed Aleph is no, not. <clears throat> and then Lamed Kaf is to you, to thee, or therefore. So my rendition for this verse is, so thus now with fine words, ordered, commanded, said, avouch Yahweh, Appointed, established, arranged, steadfastly is the valuable way on account of my words. The way to walk as instructed, as educated for the journey, on exhibition. Ask, inquire of the way. Directing the way of eternity, which will you choose? To journey on as instructed, doing good with improvement? To you to be astonished, to find perfect rest? To be enlivened, refreshed in your mind and soul with the breath of life, as promised, or not. So here we have a shield card, and it is Malachi 3.7, and then also 16 through 18. And that reads, For I am Yaffa, I shall not change, and you, O sons of Jacob, shall not come to an end. From the days of your fathers you have turned aside from my laws and did not guard them. Turn back to me, and I shall turn back to you, said Yahweh of hosts. In verse 16, then shall those who fear Yahweh speak to one another, and Yahweh listens and hears, and a book of remembrance be written before him of those who fear Yahweh and those who think upon his name. 
in verse 17 and 18. And they shall be mine, said Yahweh of hosts, on the day that I prepare a treasured possession, and I shall spare them as a man spares his own son who serves him. Then you shall again see the difference between the righteous and the wrong, between one who serves Elohim and one who does not serve him. So let's go on to dictionary practice. On page 131, we'll look for Dalit Resh Bet. <clears throat> and Dalit Resh Bet. So it's very similar to the word we had earlier, but the Resh and Bet have switched places. And this is defined to be accustomed, be trained. He was accustomed, was trained, and even to learn. On page 123, we have the longest word I found in the dictionary so far. Dalit Yod Samik, Kuf Yod Pe, Lamed Yod Nun He, which is defined as discipline, instruction, teaching, learning, knowledge. Pupil, disciple, to seize mentally, to catch, seize, take hold of, take, receive. So my hope is doing this Paleo Katana will be that people will see a sword and that they would pick it up and not only be willing to hold it, but seize hold of that, that Yah's word would be so real and that we would see his promises is absolutely true. Page 123, we have Dalit Yod Kuf, and that's defined as bulwark, siege wall, lookouts, watchtowers. To be exact, be precise, he calculated exactly to be exact. He was exact, he did something, was done exactly. On page 123, <clears throat> we're gonna look for Dalit Yod Kuf Noon. And that is defined as an exact, punctual, accurate, or meticulous person. He was exact. Um, if we add a wa tav, it's punctuality, actuality, meticulousness. If we have a noon yod at the end, it's exact, punctual, accurate. And with a zadi yod he, it's diction, saying speech. To say, tell, mention, relate, affirm. On page 118, we'll look for Dalit Wa Kuf Noon. That is defined as precise, accurate, said of a person, meticulous. We have a couple derivative spellings. On page 130, we'll look at Dalit Kuf Dalit Kuf. And that is defined to examine minutely, to be strict. He evened. Um, something about woof and beating and weaving, I guess. He examined minutely, searched, investigated, was strict, dealt strictly. He crushed, examined minutely, was searched. And there's a few derivative spellings. So that Dalit, that fourth letter, and we're going to look for the section on Dalit in Psalms 119, which is found in verses 25 through 32. So reading just the definition part of each of those Dalit words that begin each line of the stanza, it would read, joined, attached, devoted, stuck like glue, is my way, I walk this path. The way of an enlisted soldier, under command, counted as one of yours, catching every drop of everything you put within my reach. Or the other option, the way of lies, of falsehood, deception, swindling, the way of steadfast fidelity, calculated a learned craftsman's skill. I am clinging, adhering, pursuing, following hard after like a bear. The way of your mitzvot commands as ordered, exhausting, squeezing out every drop I can find. So if we go back to the dictionary, on page 128, we'll look at Dalit Ayan Tav, and also Dalit Ayan Tav Noon. And those are defined here, the knowledge of, knowledge, wisdom, and then also intelligence, sensible, very learned, erudite, strong-minded, 
So you can see just adding that noon is that wisdom put into action. On page 132, we have Dalit Resh Wa Resh. And that is defined as freedom, liberty, release from servitude. On page 129, we'll look for Dalit Pei Tav Resh. And that is defined as notebook to put in writing to record. He put in writing, wrote a book, recorded, was put in writing, was written in a book, was recorded. I was asked to show my notebook. So here's that verse I talked about earlier, the Jeremiah 616. And you can see I've got just a regular notebook and I have the paleo letters on a line and then four spaces underneath that free and available for all the definitions. And I didn't really stick yods and was and expand words very much. I just looked at the words that were available in that verse from Jones to Knock. So page 131, we have Delet Resh Delet Kuf. And that is defined as pupil, beginner, novice, child. Small, minute, light, he pounded, broke into pieces. Page 132, we'll look for Dalit Rashin. And that is defined as to seek, inquire of, study, expound. He examines, he instructed, taught, he learned, studied, he expounded, interpreted, and it continues on. He sought, consulted, inquired, he asked for, demanded, required. He sought with study, sought with application, followed. He sought in prayer, sought in worship, was required. He let himself be inquired of, said only of God, was sought out. So I hope that you, as you are offered a sword, um, that you'll choose to pick it up, to wield it, and train to be effective as you focus in on Yah's words and see what the actual definitions are and see what he says according to his word. So just to review, we have Dalit, that fourth letter. You could think of it as a door, a decision, freedom to choose. You are not a robot. You have free will, just as Yah has created you to have and to choose, and it's your choice. Which path will you follow? Which way will you go? So we're going to look at Genesis 1, verse 3, and if I read the letters, that would read Wa Yod Aleph Mem Resh, and the second word Aleph Lamed He Yod Mem. Yod He Yod Aleph Wa Resh Wa Yod He Yod, hyphenated to Aleph Wa Resh. And if I read that, it might sound something like Wa Iha Mara, Alaha Ima, Iha I, Awa Ra, Wa Iha I, Awa Ra. So Dalit, that fourth letter, um, you can see the Aleph Bet around the circle of the seal. And this is Nam Yawa, which you could say is, I who determined this will make it so. It is his stamp, his officialness of every letter, of every word.